Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about big ad set from Edward. It comes in 170 second scale which should be handy with F14A kit from Great Wall Hobby and we have a commercial release so it means that that's the final shape of this set. You will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review and we are going to check everything together and see what is actually supplied here. So I would say the overall design is typical for this series it's a collection of P sets so that's why it's a large cardboard envelope with short list of the sets here and we also have small pictures of the applied P on plastic parts so let's zoom in first in order to see what is included so we have removed before flight steel flex we also have F14 P parts FOD and also mask set from what I understand by the set number but we will see it once we open it and as usual is sealed with a stick tape here so just give me a second to cut through it and we will check everything together and as usual these big ad sets why they're uh, I would say better choice if you plan to use P parts because they provide uh, I would say approximately 30% as far as I remember there was a question once how much you save by getting the big ad and I think it was around 30% so basically you get uh, to save money and you also get all the same sets which you would purchase separately and pay more in my opinion that's quite a handy offer for this who would like to be with a bit more sophisticated model and not to waste their money that's why it's better to get everything in a big ad at once so what do we have here yes i was right i guess so here are these four sets which are included into this big ad masks fod pe and also remove before flight so we are going to start one by one and obviously we will start with the mask set so just give me a second and you might have noticed that packaging is standard for these sets so that's exactly the reason as i said before you can get these sets as a separate set on for example on edward web shop but you pay more in comparison with what you pay in here so here is the small mask sheet of course masks are pre-cut they will be handy for the canopy and landing gear wheels and of course such bonus will be useful in order to get a nice paint work on your aircraft in one 70 second scale it's even more crucial because not everyone likes to cut tiny stickers and here you can see application of these masks so they will be applied on landing gear wheels they will be applied on the canopy and you have to have liquid masks because otherwise you won't be able to mask this middle area of the canopy i think it is quite obvious it is typical approach to all let's say modern fighter canopies masking when you get such mask set so definitely get the liquid mask next we continue with fod set so as far as you can see it's a pe set so let's open it this will be handy in case you would like to replicate aircraft parked somewhere and i think that's what most of the mothers do so that's why it will be handy so here is this tiny PE thread I will show it like this as you can see it is pre-painted so that's why it will be even more handy and of course you will have to do some bending because some parts should be sticking out of this panels and here you can see what will be actually covered with these parts obviously air intakes because it's fod and these red panels will be actually looking cool in a small scale because we are all used to see such stuff in bigger scale models but here we get it in tiny size and that's pretty much all for this set and what is next next we have pe set it looks like this and here it is interesting that we have pre-painted pe thread here and we have also a golden traditional unpainted pe thread on the other side so it means we will get to detail up the cockpit as well as some structural and external parts we will see in assembly manual but first i would like to show you pe threads and then we will check the assembly manual so first of all pre-painted pe thread let's zoom in and here you can see that we have cockpit parts we have also some parts for the radar argus 
and everything looks cool it's a typical edward product so that's why i'm not even worried about the quality just be sure to have some sharp tweezers because otherwise it will be really tricky to get them into the right spot definitely do not do it with bare fingers here we continue with more parts and i think it is easy to notice that for example here we have some parts for the canopy but we also have parts for the engine and some external surfaces so that's really cool because all these unpainted parts are easy to cover with necessary shade just do not forget about typical sequence so first you apply primer and then you get to paint it because otherwise it is easy to scratch next i'm trying to remove the assembly manual so that we understand what we will be doing here so first of all let's zoom out first of all we work on the pilot seat here next we continue with the cockpit tab as you can see all side panels will be upgraded and of course we work on the instrument panels both pilots and let's flip it over yes here we have something else so next we continue with more cockpit parts and then we upgrade the radar dish as i said before which is really cool because it will be handy in case you would like to replicate it next we continue with engine nozzle parts here do not forget to do some bending as you can see it is shown here we also upgrade pylons and some external panels and of course canopy here as i said before and there is one more paper insert which shows that you will be working on the landing gear as well so wheel wells and landing gear legs and on the opposite side you can see oh there is a ladder also included which is really nice because it will be handy for again depicting aircraft in a parked position and maybe in a getting ready to be flown somewhere and next we also have steel belts actually this is not a steel belt this is a remove before flight flex made out of steel so here we have application manual and it is quite easy because set itself is not that sophisticated to say it straight so here is the steel thread but it's not a classic p part because it's quite thin so as you can see it is quite flexible and it will be a bit more natural looking thing to add especially if it copies flex but as you remember they also make um seat belts out of this steel as well so this is also cool because it gives you a bit more natural flowing around the parts would say but this is also a handy thing so do not underestimate it so all in all we get four sets in one collection for quite a reasonable price in my opinion this is a definitely good choice for this modelers who would like to detail their kit in 170 second scale and of course i will be happy to hear your opinion about such a release do not forget to write it here in the comment section below if you like this video do not forget to press the like button and also subscribe to our youtube channel and i will see you in the next video review as usual thank you for joining me today and bye